Hello everyone and welcome to MJ Makers Day Play With Your Food. My name is Miss Dorothy and along with my friend Miss Kristen, we're going to be doing different science experiments that involve, you guessed it, food. First, we're going to do how to make your own ice cream in just 10 minutes. Okay, so now we are going to make our very own ice cream. First, you're going to fill a gallon-sized Ziploc bag halfway with ice. After you do that, you're going to pour half a cup of salt into the ice bag. And for now, we can close that up and put it to the side. Next, you're going to take your little, little Ziploc bag and fill it up with half a cup of heavy cream or half and half, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then one tablespoon of sugar. And you're going to close this up really tight and make sure that it's sealed all the way. So double check and you can have an adult double check for you as well. And you're going to take the smaller Ziploc bag and put it into your bigger Ziploc bag. And make sure that's sealed nice and tight. And here comes the fun part. We're going to shake it. Make sure the ice gets all around that bag and you're just going to shake, shake, shake. Once you're done shaking your bag for about five to ten minutes, you'll get ice cream. You can either eat it straight out of the bag or put it in a cup and add your own toppings. I added sprinkles to mine. The salt added to the ice lowers the freezing point of ice, causing the ice to melt. The melting ice absorbs heat, thus making the space around the ice cream ingredients to freeze at a temperature below 32 degrees. Water freezes at 32 degrees, but milk is not just water, so it needs a lower temperature. Enjoy your ice cream! Hi, I'm Miss Kristen, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make homemade butter. You just need two things, a jar and some heavy cream. So, now I'm going to pour some heavy cream into my jar, and you want to fill it up about halfway. I'm gonna go over there. Put your lid back on. Now the fun part, you have to shake it. So we're gonna just start shaking. Okay, so we shook up our jar for quite a while and now inside is all solid and we have made a spreadable butter. So it's not going to be as hard as tub butter, but it will still work. You can still put it on bread and it will still be delicious. Butter is created when fat and cream start to stick together. Small amounts of fat cells in cream and milk are held together by a tight membrane. Under normal circumstances, these membranes keep fat cells from grouping together to form large globs. When the cream is agitated by sh the shaking of the jar, the fat cells bump against each other and the membrane burst. This frees the fat cells to clump together and form large globs and finally form a large clump of butter. Now we're going to make a rainbow using jelly beans. First, take two paper plates or styrofoam plates and arrange your jelly beans in a circle around the paper plate. After you do that, you need a cup of water and a cup of vinegar. First, we're going to do the water. So, you're going to pour the water in the middle of the plate. And then once it reaches the jelly beans, you're going to start a timer. And you can already see the colors are starting to come off the jelly beans. They're almost to the middle. And 
that. That looks really cool. So that took, with the water, it took one minute and three seconds. Up next, we're gonna try it with the vinegar. Now, we're gonna pour the vinegar in the middle of the plate. And we're gonna start our timer. The colors are already, as you can see, starting to come off the jelly beans. However, not as fast as when we poured just the water. Okay, so the colors reached the center and with the vinegar, it took two minutes and four seconds. That's a whole minute longer than the water. Water dissolves the jelly beans quicker than vinegar, but they both cause the jelly beans to dissolve. For a liquid to dissolve a solid, the molecules in both the liquid and the solid must be attracted to each other. Jelly beans are made of sugar and sugar molecules and water molecules are definitely attracted to each other. So water is a great solvent for sugar candy like jelly beans. Now we're gonna make lemon volcanoes. The first thing you need is a lemon. And first we're gonna roll it a little bit on the table to break up some of the insides and make it a little bit easier for, to form the volcano. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to cut the bottom off your lemon to make it lay flat. You need a grown-up to help you with this part because you're going to need a really sharp knife. And your grown-up's just going to cut the top and bottom off your lemon so you can sit it down. Cut the other side off. And then you're going to cut your lemon in half. You might want to do this on a tray or something because it's going to get a little messy. So the first thing you're going to do is take a craft stick and just stab your lemon a bunch of times. Okay. okay. So then you can take some food coloring and pick whatever color you like. They're probably not yellow because you won't see that. I'm going to do blue because it's my favorite color. Put a couple drops of blue. And hmm, let's do red because that's a fun color. Then what you need to do is put some dish soap on top of your lemons. Now to make the volcano happen, you're going to take some baking soda and put it on your lemon. Oh, and it's already starting to fizz. You can actually even stab it a little bit more to get some more. And you'll see the color will start fizzing out. Add more. Oh. You can keep squeezing your lemon to have even more chemical reaction. Do some more of the red one. Oh, oh, there it goes. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. When a base and an acid are mixed together, a gas called carbon dioxide is formed, causing the bubbling reaction. The baking soda is the base. The lemon is the acid. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed these fun science experiments. Be sure to check out and subscribe to OCL's YouTube channel. Support public libraries. Like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.